sirah kamera TK Okay, sige. Um, tara, let's start. Um, hello, uh, welcome to the session natin. Today, we're going to start our ano, problem set discussion para sa kinematics. Uh, Send ko na sa inyo yung gagawin natin. Ha? Download yun na lang para you have a copy habang nagkasagot tayo. Taka lang. Wait na Ano kaya yun? Okay, ito na nahanap ko. Mm, here we go. Taga lang ha, set sa inyo. Ayan, okay, sige. Um, hindi nag-send. Taga, ayun, nag-send na. Ayan, okay. Sige, yan yung problem set natin. Um, okay. Uh, game, let's, let's have a short recap muna ng mga ginawa natin over the past two meetings. Taka lang. Okay, here we go. Share lang na screen. Present now um window ito. So okay. Uh, balikan na natin yung mga natutunan nating quantities in kinematics. Um ito. Uh practice sa discussion kinematics uh, quantities, distance versus displacement. Distance, um, how far one has traveled yung distance. Ay, yung displacement is just simply uh, how far an object is from its starting point. No? Then, uh, speed versus velocity. Uh, speed equals distance traveled over time. Velocity is a speed if direction, no? displacement over time naman. Delta x over delta t, yung key equation natin. Uh, next, uh, Acceleration uh, measures how fast the velocity of an object is changing. Uh, change in velocity over time. Ang unit niya is meters per second squared. Yun yung formula natin. Tapos, um, next. Um, uh, yun nga, if velocity and acceleration are in the same direction, then the object is slowing down. And, and pag... I'm sorry, if velocity and acceleration are in the opposite direction, then the object is slowing down. But if they're in the same direction, they're, they're speeding up, no? Um, graphical analysis naman, uh, balikan na natin itong mga graphs na to. Um, Siyempre, pag horizontal line lang yung distance, di ba? Uh, it's even, hindi siya gumagalaw, thus no acceleration also. Uh, take note, yung slope ng mga graphs natin determine the behavior of the object. No? Then at constant speed or uniform speed, you expect your displacement graph to be linear and your um, and your um, and your uh, velocity graph, velocity time graph to be a horizontal line lang kasi nga constant lang yung velocity pero wala acceleration, di ba? And lastly, kapag parabolic, or like a quadratic equation, yung displacement natin, yung sabihin, uh, linear yung pagtaas yung speed and thus may constant acceleration no? na horizontal line. Then ito, we are not going to discuss, di naman natin to focus masyado, pero ito kapag um, hindi uniform yung motion natin, uniform acceleration. No? Pag hindi uniform acceleration. 
kinematic equations. Ito. Um, I hope meron pa to, meron pa kayong copy nito, no? Uh, ito. These are the most important equations we're going to work with ngayong araw na to. Um, how to solve? Di ba sabi ko sa inyo dati, right na given, tas kayo bahala kung ano equation yung gagamitin nyo as long as tama yung ginagawa nyo sa dulo. Right? As long as makarating kayo sa tamang sagot. Okay lang yun, no? Um, next. Um, next, uh, kapag free fall naman, same thing. Basta, alam natin ang acceleration is 9.8 meters per second squared. Tapos depende sa inyo, dapat negative, nyo, negative siya kapag kina-plug in nyo siya sa mga kinematic equations. No? Uh, adding vectors by components naman, vectors, uh, next topic natin, uh, two-dimensional kinematics, um, can be broken down into components, sabi ko nga, di ba? Into x and y components. Uh, yung v is the, the resultant vector of its components, pwede siya makita as a right triangle, di ba? And ito yung mga nakuha natin formula. Pakitandaan na lang or pakipicturan or remember, I'm going to send this PowerPoint naman sa group chat natin din. For multiple vectors, add all the x, add all the y. Then, um, uh, get the individual x and y, add all the x, add all the y, tas get the resultant. No? Tas yan yung mga formula natin for the resultant. Then, for projectile motion, as uh, Two dimensions naman, there is movement along X and movement along Y para maging curve yung motion. Uh, properties of an object in projectile motion, motion is parabolic without air resistance. Uh, only gravity is the acting acceleration along the Y axis. Uh, walang acceleration sa X, no? Unless sinabi. And lastly, velocity in X is always constant. Pero yung velocity in Y always changes. Ay, may nag-chat. Ah... Uh, may nat... Um, narinig ba ako ng iba? Narinig ba ako ng iba? Can, can everyone hear me naman? Yes, po. Okay, sige. Uh, hintay natin si Julian ng konti, no? Ayan, okay. Okay na, Julian. Yeah, okay na si. Okay na, okay na Julian. Aba, okay sige, sige. sige. Mm. Um, okay. Tapos kapag level yung object, 'di ba? Naalala niyo sa free fall and dito sa projectile motion. They start with the same initial velocity, they end at the same initial velocity, and yung time to reach max height is half of the total time that the object see the air, 'di ba? Narinig natin 'yun sa free fall and pati dito sa projectile motion. As ito pa rin, pareho pa rin yung kinematic equations. Pero pwede natin siya paghiwalayin sa x and y. Basta ito tatandaan natin, vx naught equals v naught cosine theta. vy naught equals v naught sine theta. Pero sa projectile motion, ito lang yung mga gumagana. No? Um, ito. Ayan. Tapos, um, ito rin. No? All, Basta, I don't want, I don't need you to memorize that. Basta naalala nyo yung kinematic equations natin. Okay na tayo, no? Tapos, for level horizontal motion, ibig sabihin pareho yung height ng pinag-startan niya at pinag-endan niya, we can use these equations, no? I'm going to send this PowerPoint naman para you can still refer to it habang nagsasagot tayo. Okay? Yun lang. That is our recap for today. Um... Teka, send ko lang yung PowerPoint natin. Tapos start na tayo, no? Kaya lang, ha? Okay, sige, teka. Ito na, send ko na. Yung mga homework for enrichment pala, napadala ko mamaya yung mga sagot. No? Pati yung utang ko sa inyo sa logarithm. Sorry na, matambakan na ako ng trabaho. No?
Okay, ito na. Um, here we go. Ito. Ito yung ito yung recap natin for today. Yan. Okay, sige. Tara, let's start with the problem sheet. Uh, buksan nyo na lang yung copy nyo, no? Um, okay. Teka. There we go. Sige. Um, bibigyan ko kayo ng... Bibigyan ko kayo ng... Ano ah? Bibigyan ko kayo ng... 5 minutes. Or, sige, 5 minutes for number 1 to 5. 5 minutes for number 1 to 5. Sige nga, let's see. I'll wait ah. 5 minutes from number 1 to 5. The chief, uh, naalala nyo pa, no? May tanong kayo, go lang. Ano answer? Talang, sorry. Wait lang, wait lang. Ito basta kayo go lang, sa akin. Okay, okay,
Okay, let me check. Huh? Who is Sige, let's discuss. Um, okay, game. Sige, let's look at number one. No? Let's look at number one. Um, conceptual lang ito, no? So, I won't be, com I won't be computing masyado, no? At time t equals zero, one object is traveling to the right along the x-axis at a speed... Oh, ay, sige. Let's look at si Johan muna. Um, t, d... VA number... Okay, Johan. Uh, double check lang yung number 3, no? Ano lang yan? Um, uh, ang tawag dito? Uh, conceptual lang yan. Free fall. Free fall. So, dapat C. Okay. For you, Julian, uh, medyo... Uh, it's okay. Let's review na lang, no? Uh, medyo iba tayo na sagot, eh. Okay. Sige, let's see. Game. Um, sige, for number 1, ah... Uh, Ayan, di ba? Traveling to the right along the x-axis at a speed of 10 meters per second with acceleration negative 2. Yes, tama yung A, no? It will, the object will slow down. Siyempre, pero hindi naman sinabi, ano, hindi naman sinabi sa problem na kapag nag-zero na siya, yung velocity, it would stop. Hindi eh. Wala naman sinabing, I will stop after 5 seconds. Hindi. It will slow, it will slow down, momentarily stop. Tapos di ba sabi ko, Dati, kapag naka-reach na sa zero, tuloy-tuloy na siya sa left, no? So, dapat, letter D, pick up speed moving to the left, no? Letter D, dapat yung sagot. Number two, in which of the following cases does a car have a negative velocity na positive acceleration? So, pag negative velocity, alam natin, nagta-travel siya towards the left, no? Negative x direction na agad yon. So, dapat A, B, or D na lang yung sagot. Kaya lang, Positive acceleration. Okay. Ano sabi ko? Pag velocity and acceleration are opposite, then the car is slowing down dapat. So, dapat letter D. Negative x direction, decreasing in speed. No? Sige. Number three. Uh, a ball is dropped from the, from the top of a building. At the same instant, a second ball is thrown upward from ground level. When the two balls pass one another, one on the way up, the other on the way down, compare the magnitudes of their acceleration. Um, letter E is correct. I know, letter E is false. Kasi, di ba, ano yan? Um, free fall ito, guys. Di ba? Sa free fall, only, acceler only acceleration due to gravity is acting on the object. So, dapat, obviously, ang sagot, letter C, no? Acceleration of both balls is the same. Di ba? Dapat, yun. Letter A and B are not True. Letter D is not true. Kasi alam na nga natin yung sagot. Letter E is not true. Kasi pareho sila ng direction. Okay, number four. Uh, the speeds of an object at the end of four successive seconds are 20, 25, 30, 35 per second respectively. The acceleration of this object is, obviously naman, uh, tumataas yung speed niya na 5 meters per second kada second, di ba? So, ibig sabihin, our acceleration is letter D, no? Ang ingat lang sa units, di ba? Mali-mali yung units. So, letter B dapat yung sagot. Sige. Number 5. oh, ito. Um, oh. Average acceleration. Average velocity is twice its initial velocity. Vf equals to Ay, average velocity equals Vf plus Vi over 2, di ba? 
yung VF natin is equal to VI plus AT, di ba? Yun, according to our kinematic equation. So, gawa tayo ng um, equation na ganito. V equals VF plus VI over 2. Lahat yan, di ba? So, ano pang makoconclude natin from this? O, oh, um, 15 plus 3T, di ba? Kasi VF equals to VI plus AT. Eh. Acceleration is 3. 15 plus 3T, VF plus 15 over 2 equals twice its initial velocity. 2 times 15. Solving this equation, you will get letter B, 10 seconds. 10 seconds dapat yung sagot. Okay? Sige. Um, ayan, dapat letter B. Sige. Next. Next 5. Next 5 tayo. 6 to 10. I will give 5 minutes ulit, no? 5 minutes ulit for 6 to 10. Sorry if I'm picking up the pace, no? Kasi medyo marami tayong didiscuss ngayon. Sige. Uh, 6 to 10. 5 minutes ulit.
Je to víc? Okay, sige, let's discuss. Ay, yan pala. Teka. 6C, 7C. 1C. Teka ha, 6C. C, 7D, 8. B C Okay, Johan Teka Teka ko na lang Ay 6 C Six A, seven T, six A, seven D, eight A, nine. Ah, Mike, si number nine lang pero si Gay. Good job. Ah, four out of five. Good job. Good job. Six C, seven V. Si Gay, let's discuss to eight. Okay, si Gay, let's discuss to lang na. Um, uh, Johan, um, sexy. Okay, sige, let's discuss, let's discuss. Okay, sige, game. Look at the, ano ah, look at the problems na lang. Okay, sige, let's read. Kunin natin yung distance na tinravel ng bawat isa, no? Let's see. Hmm. Uh, yung A, si Alex, 3 meters, sige na tak. He ran two full cycles. Dalawang beses siya tumakbo ng paikot-ikot. So, uh, two times, two pi r. No? So, ang distance niya, 12 pi. Next, si Bob. One north, two east, three west. So, six meters yung distance niya. Si Carrie. Um, five meters straight, six meters backwards. Five plus six, eleven, no? Letter D. Si Denver, bike 4 meters north o 4 meters. Obviously, sino yung pinamalaki? Letter A. Siguro, nabasa nyo sa, ano, um, hindi, kasi circumference, guys, no? May pi. So, pag kinalito nyo, mas malaki sigurado si A. So, dapat A yung sagot. A dapat yung sagot, no? Yung displacement. Sige, yung displacement. Let's see. Let's see. O. O. Ah, okay, I'll write on the board this time. No? I'll write on the board this time. Look at the whiteboard na lang. Ay, ito pala si Julia nagbigay. 6A, 7D, 8, 9, 10E. Okay, 3 out of 5, Julia. It's okay, no? Let's let's discuss na lang. 8 is V. Oh, sige, let's just discuss. Let's just discuss, no? A oh, game. Oh, Which of them had the largest magnitude of displacement? Sige, let's look at the choices, no? Um, 
six. Ay, seven pala. Seven. Uh, tignan natin yung given, ha? Si Alex. One, two. Bumalik ka sa simula. So, displacement, zero B. One meter north. Two meters east. Three meters west. So, ito one, ito one. Ano to? Pythagorean theorem, square root of two meters. Displacement, C. Can we walk 5 meters straight and 6 meters backwards? So, ang net displacement niya ay 1 meter, di ba? 5 minus 6, 1 meter. Letter D. Bike 4 meters north. O, oh, sino yung pinamalaki dyan? Malamang si letter D, no? Letter D dapat. Letter D. Kasi, siya yung pinamalaking displacement. No? Number 8. O, oh, concept na naman to. Diba? Sa free fall, pag nag-drop tayo ng two objects, the object's uh, rate of increasing is acceleration, diba? Eh, pareho lang yung acceleration nila, guys. Diba? So, dapat na sagot, letter A, both increase at the same rate, no? Kasi, uh, only gravit gravity lang yung nagpapabilis sa kanila, no? Sige. Number nine, in which of the following situation is uh, acceleration present? Okay, ito, um, this is my fault. Hindi ko ito nasabi sa inyo. Pero as long as, as long as an object changes direction, acceleration is also present. Nalimutan ko sabihin sa inyo yun. So, uh, di ba? Uh, dalawa na definition na acceleration. Um, Nag-change yung velocity, yung magnitude of velocity, or nag-change yung direction, guys. Nalimutan ko pala sabihin yun. Important din na malaman nyo yun, okay? Uh, pag nag-change yung direction ng isang object, nag accelerate din siya. So, obviously, ang sagot ay letter A. Ay, sorry, letter B, no? Letter B. Kahit constant yung speed niya, nag-change siya ng direction, di ba? Kasi pag circular track, di ba, uh, pabago-bago siya na yung direction all the time. Kasi paikot siya, di ba? Yun, letter B dapat. It's okay. Uh, I didn't expect anyone to get that naman. Number 10. Oh, ganito rin. Parang number, parang number 1 to. Parang number 1. So, Oh, reverses the propeller in a boat moving north. The boat moves with an acceleration directed towards the south. No? Towards the south. Assume the acceleration of the boat remains constant in magnitude and direction. What happens to the boat? Oh, letter C, no? It eventually stops, then speeds up in the reverse direction. Same logic lang din sa kanina, no? Pag tumigil, pag naging zero yung acceleration, uh, mag uh, move, move backward siya constant speed no sige guys yung concept pa uh, free fall all the time acceleration due to gravity lang ganun din sa projectile motion acceleration due to, to due to gravity lang ang uh, present na acceleration na no? always remember that and always pababa yung direction no acceleration na yon sige i will i will give you I'll give you 5 minutes pa rin, no? 5 minutes pa rin. O sige, 10 minutes na. Kasi, madali lang naman yung susunod eh. 11 to 20, 10 minutes. Sige, let's go. 11 to 20. Wait lang kayo, go lang. Ask nyo ako sa group chat or sa PM. It's fine.
Okay, sige. Let's see, Levin. Oh. Projectile na yan, no? Projectile na yan. Projectile na yan, no? Yes, projectile na yan. Pero still, di ba? Same concept lang, halos. Sa projectile, acceleration lang yung um, gumagana ng... Ay, gravity lang yung acceleration na gumagana for this, no? Okay. So, yan. The, the time limit I'm giving you, uh, yun yung uh, tama lang sa exam, no? One minute per item. That's actually how they do it sa PISAI. So, siyempre guys, di ba, pag may binato tayo, as soon as binato mo na yon meron na dapat acceleration due to gravity yon di ba? As long as may binato tayong bagay, no? As soon as binato natin, uh, dapat gravity should be acting on it na.
Okay, let's check yung sagot ni Johan. Teka. 11 eh. Number 12. Oh, kakasabi ko. Um, number 13. <laughs> Number 14 B so, Dapat Number 15 C mm -hmm. 16 C 17 A 18 A 19 C TB. Okay. Um, mm, twelve is B. Seven B, twelve B, oh, thirteen C, fourteen C, okay, fifteen, thirteen, fifteen. Thirteen, fifteen. 13, 15, wow, galing, seven out of ten, good job, Julian, good job, good job. You get the concept. Uh, 13, 15, 19 ng yung mali. And that's pretty good. Galing. Good job. Good job. Sige. Uh, if anyone wants to, ano, wants to um, submit their answer, sige, let's go. Before we discuss. Eleven D... So, yeah, game. Let's discuss, ha? Game, game, game. Okay. Uh, let's go. Mm, wait lang. Let me restart my camera. Nasira camera ko. Okay, sige, let's see, ah. Game. Oh, 11. Oh, di ba, di ba nag-throw out ako ng clues kanina na as long as, ay, sorry. Ito. Oh, instant, same instant, same instant. So, kung isipin natin, guys, kung isipin natin, um, tignan nyo yung, ano, tignan, tignan nyo yung board. Kung isipin natin, ito yung nangyari, no? Ito yung nangyari. Um... Isipin natin ito yung nangyari. O. Oh. Uh, hunter. Ito yung monkey, no? At one instant, yan, bumaba siya ng ganon. Second, second, ito. Third, second, ito. 
kumbaga, tama na, pareho lang yung ano, as long as sabay nilang, sabay siyang bumaril, tsaka yung nag-release na monkey, dapat letter E yung sagot, no? Ay letter B. Kasi they fall downward at the same rate, no? Yun yung importante, guys, no? Uh, consider the Y component sa projectile. And dahil same velocity naman sila pababa, at some point, they will meet here, no? Yung bullet tsaka yung monkey. Sige. Number 12. Which statements are not valid for a projectile? Letter A is correct. Letter B is correct. Letter C is correct. Ay! Which statements are not valid pala? Which statements? Dapat letter C rin ay... Uh, dapat letter B ay hindi rin valid, no? Kasi, um, constant project constant negative value. O nga naman, no? Mali yung B. Mali yung B. Mali rin yung B, guys. Ha? Mali rin yung B. Okay? Kasi, acceleration is constant negative, no? Letter C is correct. Letter D, the Y component of the velocity of the projectile is zero at the highest point of the projectile's path. Yes. Yes, tama yan. Letter E, the velocity at the highest point is zero. Okay. Yes, totoo. Zero nga tong... Zero tong... Totoo nga, di ba yan? Totoo nga zero to. Zero yung y. Vy equals zero. Pero meron pang x, no, guys? Remember, meron pang x. Meron pang x component, no? So, dapat, um, letter E is not also correct, no? Letter E is not also correct. Kasi, meron siyang velocity towards x, eh. So, ang resultant velocity is not zero. Ayan, okay? Sige. Number 14, Oh, train. Train. Train car, no? Ito yung mga types of things you would expect eh, sa exam nyo. Oh, may train daw. Moving at a constant 90 km per hour. Nag-launch tayo ng... ng nag Binuto tayo ng ball pen, no? Dapat babalik din yan sa'yo. Okay. Una-una, try nyo yan sa kotse nyo. Gagana yan. Legit. Niwala kayo sa akin. Gagana yan. Next. Kasi guys... Um, meron kang VX eh. Meron kang VX, no? Meron kang VX. So, you're sure na kapag nagbato ka ng object, ah, uh, pag nagbato ka ng object, for sure, bababa rin yan sa kung saan mo binato. Kasi nga, um, sabay sila eh, no? So, kaya nagbato, gumagalaw ka rin, for sure, you're there to receive it, no? Kasi may velocity ka along X. Okay. Sige, letter C dapat. Number 15. Oh, number 15. Always remember this, guys. Kapag same height, yung na-reach ng mga projectile mo, um, they will stay in the air for the same time. Totoo yun, ha? Kahit, kahit ganong kalayo yung range, kahit ganong, kali, kahit ganong kakitid yung angle, no? Um, I won't discuss the mathematics behind it. Pero yon always remember that, no? Uh, as long as they reach the same height, pareho lang ng time yan, no? Kasi actually, guys, pag, uh, mm, sige na nga, gawin na nga natin. Mm. ba diba, pag nag tayo ng bola, oh, ah, sige, never mind. Basta yon, okay? Always remember that, no? Always remember that. Basta kapag same height, yung na-reach itong mga projectile mo, dapat same time lang yung pagbaba nila. Sige, number 16. You're adding vectors of length 20 and 40 units. Which of the following choices is a possible resultant magnitude? Simple lang to, guys. Oh, 40 meters, 20. Yun yung worst case scenario, di ba? Magka-opposite sila. So, this is has a magnitude of 20. Tapos, yung best case scenario is kapag same direction sila. Magnitude is 20 plus 40, which is equal to 60. So, all the values of your vectors must be between 20 and 60. So, the only possible um, item there or answer there is letter C. No? Letter C. Okay. Sige, number 
the magnitude of a component of a vector must be less than or equal to the magnitude of the vector. Bakit? Tingnan natin, guys. Dapat letter A ang sagot dyan. Diba? Um, ang Vx tsaka Vy, V cosine, V sine theta, diba? Pag nag... Pag napapansin nyo ba, kada, kada time na nag-multiply kayo ng angle, lumiliit yung value, no? Lumiliit yung value nung... Uh, lumiliit... Mas maliit to kaysa dito. Kasi this one is less than 1, di ba? Yung sine theta. Pag kinalcul nyo siya, most of the time, yung nakukuha nyo is less than the original vector. Naging equal lang siya kapag 90 degrees or kaya 0 degrees, no? Yun lang yun. Okay? Naging equal sa kapag ganito yung mga angle nila. So, it's either equal or less than 2. Number 18. Ito, I've been giving clues about this kanina. A bullet fired from a rifle begins to fall as soon as it leaves the barrel. Yes. Tama yon. Number 19. One ball is dropped vertically from a window. At the same instant, a second ball is thrown horizontally from the same window. Which ball has the greater speed at ground level? Okay. Sige. Pag may mga ganitong problem, uh, uh, try nyo drawing or visualize, no? Sige. Ito yung drop vertically. Ano na yung meron sa kanya? VY. Eh, ito. Um, thrown horizontally. Thrown. Throw, ah. Take note. Keyword, throw. So, yun yan, di ba? Merong, ano yan, guys? Merong VX yan. Meron yung VX, no? Yan yung VX. So, for sure, yung VX, it contributes to a greater speed, no? Pag kinuha natin yung resultant, di ba? Kasi yun yung kinocompare natin, eh. Yung resultant itong dalawa. Eh, resultant ito is only, solely VY. Ito kasi may VX siya. So, yan. Yun, it makes the uh, ball faster, no? So, dapat letter B, the throne ball. Throne ball dapat. Same height naman sila, no? So, uh, we won't consider that. Pero, yun nga, consider nyo yung components... Uh, ito, may component siya ng X. So, dapat mas lumaki yung velocity niya pag dumating siya sa ground. Number 20. O oh, yan, projectile motion. Same thing. Um, direction is always down. So, dapat letter B, no? Dapat letter B. Okay. Sige. Before we move on to problem solving, nakuha naman yung mga sinigutan natin. <laughs> Hi naman, or you need uh, some clarifications for some items. Okay, sige. Let's go. Oh, ito na. A problem solving na tayo. Sige, that's good. Thanks, Julian. Sige, let's go. Yung iba, pag meron kayong, pag, pag meron kayong digits or medyo unclear, go down. Feel free to tell me right now or later, no? Uh, ngayon, let's start with the problem solving. Let's start with the problem solving. May ano graph, no? Ito, number 1A. Number 1A, no? Number 1A. I'm going to give you... We're going to give you 5 minutes for this. 5 to 10 minutes for this. Sige nga, let's try. Number 1A. Problem solving. Huh? Problem solving. Um, ayun, uh, you have the list of formulas with you naman. So, uh, you can refer to that always, no? If you forget any formula.
So yeah, I'll give I'll give um five minutes more, so it's okay. Okay, anong equations ulit yung gagamitin? Oh, uh, sige, oh, let's see. Um, sige, let's, uh, balik tayo dito sa, ano, uh, problem set discussion. Hmm, wait na, wait lang. Yung kinematic equations, guys, ito, oh, ang gagamitin natin. Naalala pa to? Ito yung gagamitin natin, okay? Yun yung mga pwede pagpilian. I sent this din sa group chat, okay? Tapos, depending on what's given sa'yo, depending on what's given sa'yo, yun ang gagamitin natin, di ba? Hmm. Ah, isa pa, Julian. Na, nawala kaya ta. Oh, ano yung mga equations na gagamitin natin? Oh, ito, di ba? yung mga kinematic equations natin. Tapos, depende sa given, yun ang gagamitin natin, di ba? Example, dito, given dito ay initial velocity, rest, 0 meters per second, constant acceleration, 2 meters per second squared, tapos final velocity of 20, no? Yan ang take note, dalawang magkikiwaray na situation yan, di ba? Yung isa, nakarating siya ng 20 meters per second. Tapos, yung next situation, um, from 20 meters per second, bumagal siya hanggang sa tumigil. No? Sige. So, I'll give, I'll give 5 more minutes para matry, no?
Uh, mics. Um, Basahin mo yung tanong ulit, no? Um, yes, you got that part, though. You got that part correctly. Yan ang kulang ka pa, no? Kulang ka pa. Dali. I'm sure you gets mo, eh. Go, go, go. Kaya mo yan. You're there, you're there. Okay, wait na. Let me check. Oh, konti na lang. You're almost there. Okay, sige. Yung lit number 2, I think uh, you just, meron ka lang careless mistake. Pero tama yung letter, yung number 1 module yan. Yung 1i. Sige, sige. Let's discuss na lang in in 1 minute, no? Pero ikaw, uh, Johan. Pero... Two, six, four, six. Teka lang, let me check ulit yung mga sagot ko ha. Kasi merong sa inyo, magkaiba tayo na sagot eh. Wait lang ha. Pengin ng 2 minutes. Sige, take a 2 minute break. So, Julian, tama yung sagot mo, 30 seconds. No, tama yan. Okay, sige. Uh, let's discuss 1A. Wait lang, ha? Oh, ayun pala. Pinost ko na yung answer sa logarithm, ha? Na solution key, no? Check na na yung post na yun specifically sa Google Classroom mamaya. No? Pinost ko na yung Uh, solution key for uh, logarithm problem set. Okay, sige. Um, discuss natin. Um, kasi negative 200 meters. Okay. Um, pero, sige, let's discuss, let's discuss. Hindi eh, kasi, sige, let's discuss na lang, no? Let's discuss na lang. Pero you're there, you're there, no? Tapos, um, siguro, nagka- 200 meters? Ayun, nagkamali ako. Tama. Tama yung... Tama ka pala, Julian. Sorry. Tama ka pala. Tama ka pala. Sorry, sorry. Ako yung mali. 200 meters. Tama yan. Tama yan. Good job. Tama na yung 300. Teka, ha? Sige, let's go. Um, good job sa mga nakatry. So, ito, kuha tayo na. Um, sigila na naman camera ko. Tinggal lang, eh.
Okay, sige. Ito na. Game. Oh, how much time elapses from the start to the finish? Okay, sige, game. Um, ano yung best na gamitin dito? Dalawang situation, guys. ba? Diba? Unang situation, nag-speed up until 10 seconds. Tapos, ay, sorry. Nag-speed up until it reaches 20 meters per second. Tapos nag-slow down siya, no? Until zero. Okay? Sige. Let's see, ah. Eh? Oh, part 1, for speeding up, VF equals VI plus 80 na lang, no? Kasi, I think that's the best one. Kasi you're given acceleration and you're given initial, ay, final velocity. So, VF, T equals VF minus VI over A equals 20 minus 0 over 2, 10 seconds. Next, is slowing down, di ba? Part 2, VF equals VI plus 80 pa rin, no? Kaya lang, T equals VF minus VI over A. Final velocity, 0, minus initial, 20. Acceleration, dahil nagsaslow down siya, negative 1, negative 1. So, 20 seconds. Total time, 10 plus 20, Equals 30 seconds. Good job, good job. Okay, part 2. Speeding up and slowing down. What is, how far does that vehicle travel from start to stop? Dapat, um, wala naman sinabi na nag-turn back siya, no? Wala naman sinabi, eh. Wala naman sinabi. So, so, kahit we just add the distances from the two parts. Okay, first, for speeding up, no? For speeding up, VF squared equals VI squared plus 2AD. Distance equals VA squared minus VI squared over 2A equals to um, equals to final velocity 0, 20, diba? 20, minus, 20 squared minus 0 squared over 2 times 2 kasi yung acceleration 100. Part, uh, for the slowing down, oh, VF squared equals VI squared plus 2AD pa rin, no? I'm using this kinematic equation kasi that's what I think the easiest is. No? Distance equals Vf squared minus Vi squared over 2A. Final velocity 0 minus initial 20 over 2 times negative 1. No? Equals to uh, 200 meters. If we add 300 meters, no? 300 meters here sa gano. Good job sa mga nakatama. That's great. Okay? You know, if meron kayong tanong or if there's something unclear, uh, tell me lang, no? It's okay. It's okay. Kasi if you didn't get it correctly, it's okay lang din, no? Kasi natututo lang naman tayo. Okay? Sige. Next, let's go to number 2. I want you to answer 2B. Part 2B. Part 2B. Number 2B, no? Uh, for... For 10 minutes ulit, no? For 10 minutes naman. Part 2B. Upload ko naman yung full solution nito mamaya. Part 2B. Uh, part of this is imagining the situation, no? So, uh, test na rin sa inyo yun, no? If nag-get siya yung how the situation looks or yung problem. No? Sige.
let's see. Hindi lang gravity yung meron. Okay. Dito, gravity lang yung acceleration, syempre. Okay? Parate, parate, parate yun, no? Unless sinabi sa inyo na hindi lang gravity yung meron. Dito, gravity lang yung meron. Okay. Uh, discuss ko lang ng onte, no? How does the figure look? Sige, how should it look like? This is what it means, no? This is how, this is what the problem means. Para meron kayong guide ng konti kahit pa paano. Oh. A rock is shot vertically upward from the edge. Okay, so, of a building, no? 2B tayo at 2B yung sinasagutan natin. The rock reaches its maximum height above the top of the building. So, oh, sabi natin yung paganto, no? Paganto ng konti. Nakarating daw sa sa highest point niya at T equals 1.6, no? As, nung nakarating siya dyan, yan, nag-fall down siya pababa. And uh, it hits here at T equals 6 seconds, no? 6 seconds. Ang hinahanap sa atin, ano raw yung velocity, initial velocity, upward. Next is, um, ano yung acceleration ng rock? Uh, malamang, alam nyo na yan. Number 3, number 3, ano yung height na to, no? Ano yung height na to? Ano yung height na to? Ano yung height na yan? Ano yung max height above the building, no? And lastly, how high is the building? How high is this? Ano to? Yan. Okay. Apat yung tinatanong sa atin. Sige. I'll give, I'll give you 10 minutes more.
Okay, teka, Johan, ito may tanong ko sa'yo. Ano yung time na ginamit mo sa 4? Anong time ginamit mo? Same equations, yes. Kasi, ano lang yan? Um, kinematics pa rin yan, no? Kinematics pa rin yan. Same equations lang parate. Mas natatandaan nyo, dito, ang acceleration natin is negative, no? Always remember that. Always remember that, no? Sige, four min five minutes pa ulit. I'll wait. Pwede kayo magtulungan, guys, ha? Just saying. Okay. Um, teka lang ha. Sige, I'll, I'll go, I'll, I'll answer your queries mamaya. Wait lang. One minute. Um, So you guys, one minute, I'm going to discuss. Yan! Good job. Um, good job, good job. Um, yun nga lang, take note lang yung sign mic for number 2. Upward velocity, no? Dapat positive yun nakuha mo dyan, no? Okay, yun lang. 
Never the rest. Tama yan. Good job. Good job. Okay. Sige. Let's see. Hmm. Okay. O, ito yung mga ano natin. This is how to do it. At, oh, na, na, part 1. Of course, conceptual. ba? Diba? Acceleration should be equal to G. 9.8 meters per second squared parate, no? Okay, number 2. If what upward velocity is the rock shot? So, let's examine yung maximum point ito. T equals 1.6. Kasi yun lang given, no? Para madali. So, at H max, Vf equals Vi plus At, uh, take note, zero to kasi at max height, no? So, zero equals to Vi plus uh, negative 9.8 times 1.6. Yan na. Vi equals negative uh, positive 9.8 times 1.6 is equal to 15.68 meters per second. No? 15.68 meters per second or simply 15.7. No? Okay lang din yan. Next, number 3. What is the maximum height above the top of the building? Ano yung, ano yung, ano raw to? Ano yung max height above the building? So, ito, pwedeng, pwedeng VF squared equals VI squared uh, plus 2AB. Sige, yun na lang, no? Para easy. Oh, VF squared equals VI squared plus 2AB. No? Max height pa rin to, ah. D equals VF squared minus VI squared over 2A. Vf squared is 0 minus initial velocity, which is nakuha natin kanina to be 15.68, 2 times negative 9.8. Ang makukuha natin dyan, ito na calculate si, is 12.54, no? 12.544 to be exact. Pero, okay yan. 10.54 meters would work. Good job. Yan. 12.544 meters. Next, letter C. Ay, letter number 4. How tall is the building? How tall is the building? Diyan po mapasok yung pinakahuli nating equation. No? Um, gamitin natin yung pinakamahaba. No? X equals, ano na to Examining ito, ha? Ito, t equals 6 seconds, no? Dito na tayo sa bottom. x equals xi plus vit plus 1 half at squared equals to 0, kasi 0 to. Kasi ito dapat, ito sa, parang coordinate system, guys, no? Dapat negative yung position nito. Plus, vit, vi is 15.68 t which is 6, no? Minus 1 half, ay, sorry, plus 1 half times negative 9.8 t squared, which is 6 squared, no? If we simplify that, we will get um, 82, negative 82.32 meters, no? Pero ano yan? Kasi position yan, di ba? Displacement. So, take the positive. 82.32 meters for the distance. Okay. Sige. Um, how many minutes lang tayo? 20 minutes? 25 minutes? Sige. Okay, I want you to... Sige, 4 ABC. Number 4. Buong number 4. For 20 minutes. For 20 minutes. Buong number 4. Buong number 4. 20 minutes. Okay. Baka may magtanong na naman. Anong equations na yung gagamitin natin? Tingin lang kayo dito sa ano? Ah, tingin kayo sa ano no? Tingin kayo dito. Tingin kayo sa PowerPoint ko. So, ito yung equations na yung gagamitin natin. Dito tayo sa projectile motion, no? Dito tayo sa projectile motion. So, ito, no? Ito pa rin, pero ito, itong dalawa. Ito, actually, ito. Pero sabi ko nga sa inyo, you don't have to memorize this, di ba? Isip lang. Uh, imagine lang, no? You can still use this. Ito pa rin. Ito pa rin yan, actually. Dito pa rin manggagaling yan. 
next. Ito. Diba? For a projectile launch at a level horizontal surface, mga gamit natin to. Level. What do we mean by level? Pantay yung sinimulan tsaka yung tinapusan ng projectile. Sige? Okay, go. 20 minutes. Number 4. Tingin na lang kayo sa slides to look at the formula ulit. Number 4 pala yung sinasagutan natin. Number 4.
Ay. No, está mal. Okay. Um, let me turn back. Okay, um, ten minutes pa tayo before I discuss the problem.
Sige, 3 minutes na lang. Sige, one minute. Ano lang to guys? Plug and play lang to. Sige, paano yan? Um... Sige, let's wait for one minute. Okay, game, time's up. So, kung sino man may sagot, go lang, uh, padala nyo lang sa akin, no? Check ko for a few minutes before we go. So, yeah, kung sino man may sagot, um, kahit ilan lang yan, it's okay. Um, send nyo lang sa akin or type sa GC, uh, whatever. No? Um, para check ko lang sandali. Good job, uh, Johan. Uh, siguro may mali lang talaga, no? Pero it's okay. Yung 4A and 4A and 4B. Sige. Okay. Sige, let's discuss. So, ito. Um, letter A, no? Letter A is the pinaka-basic among all of them. Ay, sira na naman camera ko. Wait lang. Sira camera ko, no? Wait lang, ha? Wait lang.
It's okay. Sige, let's just discuss. Pero tama yung 4B mo, uh, Julian. That's good. Sige. Um, letter B. Yes, tama yan. Ay, may mali yung, uh, sa'yo, Erin, mali yung part 3 mo. It's okay. Let's discuss na lang, no? Sige. Uh, thanks for trying. Good job sa mga partially correct. Kau, Erin, you're 3 out of 4. Si Julian, 2 out of 3 out of 4 din. Okay, sige. Let's discuss. Um, ganito lang yan, guys. It's easy. Uh, hindi siya mahirap. Ito na yung pinaka-basic eh. Sa project time motion. Yan. Okay, sige. Let's see, ha? Game number one. Uh, running 2.5 meters down. Oh, ito yung number one. Yan. 2.5 meters per second, no? Horizontally. 3.0 seconds later, reaches the water below. How high was the cliff? <laughs> oh. H equals... Wala siyang initial, no? Kasi set this sa zero, no? VIT plus one half, ET squared. Wala siyang initial Y kasi horizontal. So, X na yung meron. No? So, one half, ET squared. Negative one half times, ay, times negative 9.8 times 3 seconds squared, no? Equals 244.1 meters. Negative yung makukuha dyan, pero since... Uh, tinatanong lang naman is height. So, positive. 44.1. Next. Uh, how far from its base did the diver hit the water? R equals VXT. Yun lang. Kasi horizontal component lang yung meron eh. So, 2.5 times 3 equals 7.5 meters. No? 7.5 meters. Sige. Next. Letter B. Ito, madali lang to. As in, puro formula lang to. I, H max equals B I squared sine squared theta over 2G. So, pag input natin sa calcul yan, ito lalagay natin. Um, 36.6 squared times sine theta, so sine 42.2 squared over 2 times 9.8. Yan na. Ang lalabas is 30.8 meters. For letter B, uh, for part 2, um, T equals T equals 2BI sin theta over G. So, ganun lang din. Uh, we will get 5.01 seconds. Oh, by the way, ito drawing, no? Long, flat, horizontal range, no? So, kaya tama lang na gamitin yung mga equation na to. Sige, next. Part 3. Range, range. So, VI squared sine 2 theta over G. Yeah. 36.6 squared Sine 2 theta. Sine 2 theta is uh, 2 times 42.2 over 9.8. You will get um, 136 meters. No? 136 meters. Sige. For letter number 4, speed of the projectile 1.5 seconds after firing. Speed. Do. So, kaya natin yung resultant. No? Resultant dapat. So, paano yun? Um... Oh, Vx is still, is just 36.6 cosine 30, no? Kahit saan yan. Ay, sorry, cosine 42.2. Uy naman, Vy, 
Yung initial velocity V ay sin theta T. Ano, minus, may plus 80, no? Plus 80. So, using that, 36.6 sin 42.2 times 1.5. Ay, sorry. V, Vf equals Vi plus 80 pala, no? Yan, yun lang. Minus 9.8 times 1.5. If we get that, that is 9.88. Ito ay 27.1. Get the resultant. Speed na namin tada ng sunod direction. It's around 28.9 meters per second. Yan, yun lang. Sige. Yung part C, mahaba siya eh. Tignan niyo na lang yung ano, tignan niyo na lang yung tignan niyo na lang yung solution ko mamaya. I-upload. Ay na-upload ko na actually sa Google Classroom lahat ng ito. Kasi overtime na tayo for almost 5 minutes. O sige na guys, yun lang. Maraming salamat. See you tomorrow ulit bukas. Statistics na tayo ulit. Okay? Sige guys, yun lang. Bye-bye.